Okay, in continuing to color, I want to go back to this mountain, and I wasn't quite done coloring. I had done some color balance to it. So I go to Image Adjustment, Color Balance. I want to play with the shadows now. So I always try to address all three ranges when I do color balance, even though it's subtle. So we're aiming to finish this project off for critique at about 11.30, about an hour from now. So I've cut everything out and placed it, but now I'm really working on fine tuning some of the elements. So that's a big color change. If we go back in the history before, you can see how much that's changed. But it helps to match kind of the red and the blue and the very saturated inspiration of my cartoon background. It makes it feel more like a fantasy. So now if I want to do some more dramatic changes to it, which I'm not sure I do, but I can play with them, I'm going to go to Image Adjustments Hue Saturation. So the first direct adjustment I do for backgrounds is levels to adjust the overall lighting. Then I do color balance, which I just did to adjust the color temperature of the lighting. And now hue saturation to actually affect the intensity and the, um, the actual color of the thing itself. So right now it's kind of a bluish purplish mountain. If I wanted to shift that more purple, I can shift the hue. But if you push it too far, you lose any subtlety and any variation. So I'm just gonna push it a little bit, maybe to there. And now for saturation, I can intensify it and push it more into the foreground. But I think I actually want to deaden it a little bit. So it starts to recede into the background a little bit more. And again, don't click colorize unless you want to take out uh, all varied pixel information and just get a monochrome. And then don't adjust lightness here because you have better tools for that in levels. Okay. So that one's good. Now I want to go to the far back mountain, which is entirely the wrong color right now, right? And I'm going to show you how when you color, you can kind of separate it from the, from the, the whites. White and black are not colors. One is the presence of all lights. One is the absence of all lights. So we can, we can, tint and tone them with different colors, but mostly I'm going to be focused on the mid-tones. So I've already adjusted the levels. I'm going to start with color balance, and I'm going to start with the mid-tones. This is this back mountain here, so I'm on that layer, and I'm going to increase the blue in the mid-tones. And because there's already quite a bit of red in it, that's going to push it towards purple. I'm going to decrease the greens. Maybe take the reds down a little bit. Now in highlights, I'm going to see a lot more of this. But when I increase the blue, you're going to see it gets a lot more purple. I can adjust the rest as I see needed. And then in shadows, same thing. Increase the blue. But if I go too much, I, I lose some subtlety. And some colors have darker values than other colors. So when you increase the blue, you're also darkening the value a little bit. So it's good to play with all of these. I want it to blend into the sky. All right. So now, what about this green, which seems to throw everything off? So that layer has the really intense blue, 
which I mostly want, but it also has this really strong green, which I do not. That kind of ruins the harmony. So I'm going to show you how you can do selective color in this. So I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, I'm going to go to Color Balance first. I can't do selective color here, but I can get that blue right. So I'm going to go to the Midtones, I'm going to up the green a little bit. I'm looking at the blue more than the green right now. Up the red a little bit. That will counter the blues being so strong. And take the blue down a little bit. Okay, that's starting to look a little bit better. I can go to shadows. I want to decrease the blue even a little bit more. Increase the red so it looks a little bit deeper coming forward. Then in highlights, let's try. Uh, I don't like the greens and the blue ridge. Maybe about there. So little shifts, right? Now, for selective color, I go to adjustments and hue saturation. And if I'm happy with where the blues are, I mean, I can try shifting it all. And I am pretty happy. I think about there is just right. The range for everything will do every pixel in that layer. But if I change it, I can actually select out certain colors, like green. And now I can just play with the, the hue of the greens in the layer. And surprisingly, there actually aren't that many greens in this layer. <laughs> There are a lot of yellows. And so when I shift the hue for those, it will leave my mountains alone, but it will allow me to shift to something a little different for my midtones. I just want to shift it off of the, the bright green. If I go to cyans and see how I can play with those subtleties. If I play with the reds. I can play with those. Hmm. The magentas. But it's all really in the yellow for this. That's where I'm going to get my my variations. All right, so that looks pretty different than what it did before. And it's drawing less attention, but I'm not sure I love it. So I'm going uh, to keep playing with that. This might be a good example of where I make a duplicate, <laughs> and then I make those adjustments to the duplicate. with hue saturation, and then I might erase between the two. So some internal compositing, just on that mid-ground hill. So just going to play with the yellows. Let's shift it, yeah, a little bit more towards the reds. Take that saturation down a bit, and then lighten it a bit. Yeah, that's a better way to go. Good. All right. Now, what about this hill? Come on. There we are. This can help set that tone. 
Start with color balance, just the temperature. Start with the midtones. I'm going to push it more red. A little bit of the, I'll leave a little bit of the green in. Deaden the yellow a little bit. In the highlights, I want more of that red. Oh, but it pushes forward a little too much if I amp it up. So very small steps. And then in hue saturation, go back to a master range and see if pushing it one way or the other improves it how it sits. I think maybe I just want a little bit more saturation, but a little bit more lightness. Or maybe a little less lightness and less saturation. So a great benefit of digital art is you can always see your different options before you commit. All right. So that was it before, looking very dead. This is it now more intensified, going better with the saturation I've chosen for the other things. All right, now our rocks in the front, our foreground. And for a few reasons, I'm gonna try um, Control T on this layer and expanding it a little bit. Moving it over some and maybe taking it down a little. Because of the weird tangencies right there. I want to cover it up in the right places without it being too confusing. Maybe right there. So you can still be making these adjustments to your composition. And you can always toggle, toggle it back. So that's what it was before. This is what I'm thinking now. And now there's a little bit more space there. I can clean it up, but first I want to adjust the colors. So I'm going to start with color balance, shift it in the midtones away from the greens, which will take out some of the yellows. Up the reds a little bit. Let me take some of the blues down. Then go to the highlights. Maybe up the green a little bit in the highlights, but also up the red. Take the blues down. Then in the shadows, I want to up the blues. We'll give it a little bit more of a rounded feeling to have warm highlights and cooler shadows. And notice I'm still getting little green tips, though they're more yellow than green. And that's because I'm using direct adjustments instead of layer style. So I'm not losing color content. I'm just shifting it. Now I'm going to go to hue saturation adjustments, the whole thing, and I want to intensify those colors by saturating them so they feel more in line with everything else. And then I'm going to try shifting them back and forth a little bit, figure out what works, darken them slightly, and now I want to go to the master levels and I want to find the yellows in here and I want to lighten the yellows. That gives me a nice, a nice appearance 
of stronger lighting.